Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to create a random and secure dynamic password in Excel. At the single click of a button, I can regenerate the password every time. Yes, and this is the speciality of creating a dynamic password. Let's jump in to see how this is created. In order to create this, we are going to use different formulas. If at all you are new to character rank between and rank function, I have given the link below in the description. Kindly check it out. At the first level, I need to generate the random number. In order to generate a random number, use a rank between function. When you type randb, it pops in. Press tab. And what is the bottom number? Bottom number is always 0 and the top number is 9. So automatically it will fetch you any number between 0 to 9. Close and hit enter, you will have your first random number. Apart from number, if at all you are trying to create uppercase or a lowercase or a symbol, then we have to use a character function. Within character, I am going to nest in run between. In order to generate the uppercase function, use the character between 65 to 90. 65 starts at A and 90 ends at Z. Close and hit enter, you will have the first random number. In the same way, create the random number for the lower case. For the lower case, it starts with 97 and ends at 1, 2 times 2. When you hit enter, you will have a random lower case. We got in. Now we are going to create a random symbol. Use character run between for creating a random symbol use the number between 33 to 47 this will get you the special characters you have gotten so repeat this for the second series also because we are going to create the password of eight digits here now we are going to create the random number this will help us in sorting it i'm using the run between formula what is the bottom and the top number in the previous case we have used between 0 to 9 here we will use it from 1 to 8 because we want a 8 digit password. That's the reason we are specifying between 1 to 8. Close it. Plus we are going to use a row function. Row function will help us in identifying which row this particular character is. And we are going to divide it by 10,000. You might be asking why 10,000? Why it can't be 10 or 100 or 1,000? When you create a drop down list box, the maximum number which Excel can accommodate is 10,000. If you want to use 1000 or if you want to use 100 also, you can use it. But the problem is when you do this, you will have consecutive two or three numbers when you generate a password here. Only because of this reason, we are taking the maximum number. Hit enter, you will have the random number here. So now we have generated the random number. For this random number, now we have to look for what rank it is. Say for example, here we have got the highest number as 8. So it will rank 1 and it goes and find out the rest of the rank. So within this, it will calculate the rank using a rank function. In the rank function, first I am taking the first cell. Come on. What is the reference? The entire range is the reference and I am going to lock it because it should not move out of the table. Close and hit enter, we will have the a rank here. So just send it down. All the ranks are created here. So we can see the first rank for eight and the second rank for seven and it goes on. At the next level, we are going to create index. This index function is used to shuffle the characters here, but not in the same order. At the first level, we will take the array, specifically lock it, comma, and what is the row number that we want to take? We are going to give the rank. So the first rank is in E2. Close and hit enter. We have got it. Just send it down. You will have the random characters. And in order to create the password, use a cancat function. And in the cancat function, select the entire one and close and hit enter you will have it i'm using excel 2019 version if you are using anything earlier than 2019 then use a concatenate function we have created the password but every time when you want to generate a new password just click on the cell and hit function f9 key at every press of f9 key it's going to give you a random password i'm sure this video was very informative very confidently you can generate any number of password. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for joining. Stay tuned for more such videos. Good day.